Welcome to our lecture online. Now here we have an interesting problem. We take the limit as x approaches infinity of the cosine function. It could also be the sine function. It actually makes no difference. And here, of course, I've drawn the cosine function on the board, starting from x equals 0 on to the right. And so what happens? What is the limit as x approaches infinity? The problem is, as you plug in larger and larger and larger values in for x, what you're going to what's going to happen is that the function, the cosine of x, is going to is going to get a value between positive 1 and negative 1. So the highest value it can take is positive 1, the lowest value uh, positive 1, and the lowest value it can take is negative 1. And so it doesn't matter how large, how large you allow x to become, it's going to continue as you make x larger and larger and larger, it's going to continue varying in that uh, value between 1 and negative 1, and it's never going to converge to a single value, no matter how large you allow x to be. Therefore, we can say that there really is no limit for this particular function. So when you allow x to go to infinity, you can say there is no limit. The condition for a limit to exist is that as x gets larger and larger and larger, the variation in the value of the function gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So you need to have like a funneling effect where the value zeroes into a particular amount. Since that is not happening, since we don't get down to a smaller, smaller, smaller range as things are changing, we can say, therefore, safely that there's no limit for this particular function when you let x approach infinity. And that's the answer for this one.